Let's create the store site for the Board Game Horde company using Angular. We'll use everything we know about NX to scaffold out this app as quickly and efficiently as possible. First we'll add the Angular plugin. Then we'll create an Angular app called Store with some routing configuration and styles using SCSS. Now we'll commit those changes. Add store app. So we can easily revert back to this point in time. I've created a shell script that runs a series of NX generate commands to fully scaffold out our store app. I create a feature list library that has its routing configured in the root app module. I have a feature details library that's configured in the same way. Feature cart exports a container component that can be used in other feature libraries. UI formatters has two different pipes that are available and data access games and data access cart both provide services that can be used in other libraries. Let's run this and see what happens. Looks like I forgot to set the dash dash style flag in all of these commands. I could add dash dash style equals scss for all of these commands manually. But what I'd prefer to do is have nx use scss as the default if it's not specified. To do that, we'll go to the workspace.json file. All the way at the bottom, there's a schematics property that lists out defaults for various schematics. We want to add a style default of scss to the Narwhal Angular library schematic. Let's run the script again and see what happens. Let's see what was generated. It looks like the feature details library was generated outside of the store folder. That's because we forgot to add the dash dash directory flag on this command. I also noticed that we forgot to add the dash dash export flag on both of these pipes. So let's reset back to our last commit and run that command again. This time all the libraries are inside of the store folder. The car component is being exported correctly, and so are the pipes. I've gone through and implemented the functionality for the Angular store site. Let's see what the dependency graph looks like now. You can see that we have six more libraries with dependencies between them all. These dash lines indicate that this is a lazily loaded library that will not be loaded in the initial bundle. Now let's serve the app and see what it looks like. It looks like our store is unable to access the API. We need to set up a proxy config just like the review site has. We'll copy this JSON file into the store folder and add some configuration to the workspace JSON file. In the review site, there's a proxy config property inside of the serve options. We need to add a similar property inside of the store serve options. Now if we restart the store serve, now it's reaching the API. Unfortunately, we have some images that are missing. Let's copy those images from the review site into the store. Now we refresh the serve again, and the images are loading. We can go to details, we can add an item to our cart, and add a different item. Another thing I noticed is that this rating format is slightly different from the format that's used on the review site. And that's because I'm using different code to accomplish the formatting. Let's see if we can share that code. We want to take this util formatters library and move it to the shared folder to indicate that it can be used by multiple apps. We'll rename this review util formatters file to shared util formatters. And we need to update some of the references to this library. We replace that and also review slash util formatters to shared slash util formatters. Now I've updated the tsconfig file at the root of our monorepo, changing this alias from review util formatters to shared util formatters. And whenever we change this alias, we need to restart the TypeScript server. Now I'll go to the Angular formatting pipes and have them reuse that shared functionality. Now we'll restart the serve process again. And now the rating looks like what I would expect. Let's see what the dependency graph looks like now. Now we have a shared util formatters library that's being used both by some React code and by some Angular code.